Okay then, um, so you were saying that, what were you saying? So that you were saying that you agree with um, their, um, with what's his face, Sean's No, forget Sean. About the, the whole point, what we're talking about is the slap of the year. The, the, the big year. slap of the year. The Will Smith, Chris Rock uh, incident that happened at the Oscar. Right. Um, anyway, it started off with Will, with Chris Rock being the comedian that he is, and he made an offhand joke about uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Jada is and Will were in the audience, and when uh, Jada, I think everyone notice, already knows what, so we don't have to go through that. But like, what are your thoughts actually? What well, I think, first of all, I think Will went too far. I'm not in approve. I don't approve. I think that there's no reason why you should be physically violent to anybody. Mm -hmm. Even if, especially all, if all they said used were words, people are always going to say things that you don't like. Yeah, and it was just he just made jokes. It's just I jokes. mean, I know He's that jokes can sometimes be offensive and all that. And I, the thing is, when I saw that, even like looking at his face and whatnot, I I feel like he's. Like you said, he's probably going through think something rough at home, or I don't know. Maybe it has something. Who knows? I, I but, here's another thing. Take. I think that Will is still in character, you know, because he just got through making a really, really good movie about Richard Williams, Serena Williams. That's what and I Venus brought up Williams. to you a few days ago, and you're like, nope. No, no, I agree with you. Oh, I you think, did. I think that he's okay. playing this role, and he saw an opportunity to continue that character. When he got up, because first when he when he heard that joke, he laughed. Then when he noticed that his wife wasn't laughing, he decided he was going to get up. And I don't think that he intended to slap. This might be wild, but I don't think that he intended to hit Chris until he got there. <laughs> like he just didn't know what to do. He Like he felt, okay, do you think that like because of his movie character, it's supposed to be so like angry and just known for just random outbursts of anger and yes. you know things like that so you think that maybe he's still kind of feeling that character and he hasn't kind of got it out of his system yet so when he went up there and he or when he saw his wife being mad he just like his instinct in that moment was just to get up and go fight let me he wanted to defend, defend his her. wife and that's why he made the comment that Richard Williams was a fierce defender of his family. So he okay. was trying to continue that character. And we've seen something like this in the past. Or do you think, okay, if that's the case, do you think he did it on purpose? Like it's almost like an advertisement for his movie? Yes, I think that he stayed in character. We've seen something like this in the past with Andy Kaufman, who was a, you know, an actor back in the day where people, it was, it was well known that he would stay in character well after the set and he would go into restaurants and he will keep doing, like stay in character. Um, and I think that's what Will was doing. When actors do that, do you think they, like, do you think they immerse themselves so much into the character that they can't even help it? Like, it's going to take them a little bit while to get it out of their system? <coughs> or do you think that they purposefully keep themselves in character just to sort of advertise for the movie? It's promo. It's, it's done on purpose. Really? <laughs> like, so it's, it's not, not like a mental thing. No, he's not a freaking robot. He can unless he's unless he's he has a mental illness. And then in that case, that he needs to be. Well, because if you really immerse yourself in this character, and you've uh, you've told convinced yourself that this is who you are for that time being, like when you were um, making the movie, just so that you could you know put on a really great show while you're recording um do you think that it's hard to go back to who you were and it might take time to shake it off no that that um removes agency or removes uh responsibility on the side of the individual and I, i'm not willing to uh, let him off the hook that easy. Oh, okay. Will Smith is too smart an individual to uh, just get up and go slap Chris Rock in front of millions of people, global audience, another uh, very well accomplished star colleague. Well, I feel like who something does that? has to be. That's a thing. Like I, okay, Will Smith has never been that kind of guy to do that things before, like yeah. that ever. Like he's always been the one who sets the best example for like everybody, right? Like since he was Fresh Prince, I mean, he's always been like 
you know, like the A student or he's like the guy who has a good example. He's like the mentor for young kids. Um, right, I, like, I get what you say. He's always had that polished image. Yeah, and he's I, very polished. He's so proper and appropriate. But listen, I think that he's also reinvented himself if you remember okay. the documentary on netflix right. about the book will when you know he took us through the journey of writing his memoir will and he taught at some point he decided he made a decision that he was going to be himself i mean i know he's unraveling who he is and everything like that and kind of shaking off a lot of the toxicity but i didn't think he would go backwards i thought he would be like above this kind of a thing so i feel like he's something's wrong with him Right now, that's not like who he is. I felt like who is he? Who are I don't we know. anyway? This is this is a really good question. We are here, and that question is, who are we? You know, all these images and identities that we have are constructs. Yeah, we knowingly or unknowingly created this character that we are upholding to the rest of the world every single day. And at some point, you can decide to rewrite that character and like literally decide, okay, I'm going to be a different person. And I think that's what we're watching here. He's okay. setting a, what he, he's setting an ex example, he's trend setting, where he's telling people, you know, it, it doesn't matter what people think of you or what image they have of you. It could be scrubbed, it could be like a super polished image, but you, you can choose to like change that image. And that's what he's doing. Okay. You can be you. I think we've watched Kanye West do it all as well, where he doesn't care about um, what people perceive from this PC culture where you're supposed to be preppy and be a certain way, the way society expects you to be and stay within boundaries of expectations. Kanye has constantly bucked that. He was just like, I don't live for you. I'm going to be me and I'm going to react the way I want to react whether you approve of it or you don't. I think that Will is starting to do that. Okay. And he's reached a point in his career where he can do that. He doesn't have to prove anything to him. Clearly, anyone. there are no consequences, so... There are no... That's another thing. <laughs> there are no consequences for Will Smith. I mean, he's been so good for so long. In a way, it's like no one can actually get... It's hard to get mad at him. But this sets... It's really hard. It sets a very bad precedent. It does. Because that was not okay, hitting somebody. You know, what are we telling other people when you go to a, com a comedy show, if you yes. don't like what the comedian is saying, you can get violent with them. No. Yeah, like, like you is... know, sometimes when, like, the comic actually makes fun of an audience member. Right. And sometimes the audience members, you know, play along because it's a lot of fun and all that. But sometimes you fight, the audience member will fight back. But it'll just be verbal. They're just arguing back. Or they might even, you know, like, after the show, they'll say, hey, I don't like you how you said that. And, you know, they'll get mad. Well, what if people think, like, you know what? I'm just going to punch them. I'm just going to attack that comedian for making fun of me at the show. Yeah, it's, like I said. Do you think and people it, are going to think that's okay? Listen, recently I just read an article that TMZ put out where Mike Tyson was at a comedy show in LA and some guy, it's not clear whether he's a, well, he says he's a fan of Mike Tyson. And then he was trying to talk to Mike Tyson and cut and break up Mike Tyson's space. And he was being very um, uncivilized. I think he was probably drunk. Anyway, one of the, I think it was the MC of the show, tried to kick him out of the um, comedy uh, shop because it was being unruly. And he wait, pulled a gun. Wait, so the audience member. This, yeah, this was a random guy in attendance. And he was being awful. And he pulled out a gun to Mike Tyson. No, he pulled out a, out a gun to the to the guy who was trying to kick him out of the event space, and he was just like, he was threatened to use it on him. And Mike Tyson was sitting right there. But anyway, it, it kind of they were able to like simmer it down because eventually. He tried. He said, "I just want to give you a hug." And he walked up to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson gave him a hug, and then he eventually he put the gun away and he was apologizing for doing that. And he left. But, and we've also seen. I've also watched other videos where comedians were verbally assaulted. Comedians have also been physically assaulted in their comedy show. Right. So we have. You know, I don't like that someone with the. Um, 
public status that the Will Smith that has. Will has yeah. yeah, I don't it's like that he's good. able to. He he did something like that and he got away with it. So what is it telling regular people now? You can be violent and you're gonna get away with it. Obviously, I don't think you know regular people are gonna get away with doing things like that to the comedians at shows. But still, you don't want to go around hurting comedians. I think all comedians should band up and speak off, speak out against Will. I really think that all of them. I also watched the recent um, show that mm -hmm. Cedric the Entertainer made it, it did, where he, his intro on in the event in the stand-up show, he said, "To all the men out here, if I make a joke about your woman, don't." come running up here trying to hit me because I'm going to hit back. <laughs> and everyone laughed. Okay. So, <laughs> I thought that was funny because Chris Rock should have hit back. <laughs> but Chris also knows yeah, his place because... Chris, I think Chris Rock did a good job. He he handled himself very well. He was a like, professional. He was situation. very professional. That's why he's hosting. He's a professional. He knows exactly what he's doing. I mean, yes, like anyone else would have been in shock. They would not be able to continue a show. <laughs> he took the punch. <laughs> he, he took the punch. He made a, he quick, made joke a quick joke about and it. continued the show. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Like, that's very impressive. He did a really, really good job. And you can see in his face the shock. <laughs> yeah, but he. At first, he, I think it would have worked if Will didn't just keep yelling from his seat. Because everyone, even up until that point, I thought it was all planned. It was right. all part of the show. But then when he started yelling from his seat, that was when I realized that, oh, wait, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plan this. It is what it is. It just happened. But no, Chris Rock did a really good job and he didn't even press charges when he could have. Yeah. So no, he's a great guy. He And he handled everything very professionally. Agreed. Don't go hitting people. That's not how don't civilized hit people, people don't handle hit comedians. Uh, problems. If you have a problem with it, someone, just tell them or say it. It would have been okay if he just yelled from his seat and said, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. If that's all he did, He could have worked. even walked all the way up to Chris Rock, took the mic, because apparently he has all his power, and it's okay. Just Because Kanye has done it before, too. Yeah. Just take the mic out of his hand and be like, look, I'm not okay with this. Yeah. Do not use my wife's name. Do not make her a pun in your joke. Thank you. He could have done that away. and it would still be fine. That would have been fine. And you know, people would still, people, people would be understanding. Everyone would be fine with it. And like people would actually be on his side. I guarantee you. And yeah, he would, he would have set a much better example. All right. That's enough of that. Okay.